Hello, this is Chris Rodriguez with the US Tech Channel, CricketUsers.com, and FastTechPerformance.com. Today I'm going to show you wireless charging on the HTC Droid DNA from Verizon Wireless, also known as inductive charging. Inductive charging has been around for a while now, but since the introduction of the QI standard, it makes devices like the HTC be compatible with Nokia chargers and uh, LG chargers, uh, for instance. Uh, when you have a device that already supports wireless charging, it makes it really easy uh, instead of having to go out and buy back plates. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was place it in a vehicle. We're in a 2013 Scion FRS, and the original charger that I had was the uh, one from Verizon. It's actually uh, made by LG, and it's the WCP700. Now, if you look on the power adapter, it outputs 19 volts at 0.5 amps and we all know or a lot of us know that a car battery runs about 12 volts uh, probably 13.8 or so when the car is on so I continued to look around and we found the Nokia charger uh, both the DT900 and the DT910 which has a stand both use uh, this charger and the same cord it outputs um, 0.3 amps or 0.75 amps at 12 volts so we can go ahead and get that electricity uh, directly from the vehicle and I've cut this and spliced it into the vehicle and as you can see just place our device right on top of it and it's actually started the charging you can see the orange dot right there let's go ahead and turn it on real quick and you can see wireless charger uh, detected your phone is now charging this is not the stock ROM uh, with this so with the sock ROM it actually automatically comes out of sleep mode and lets you know that you're charging um, unfortunately it takes a while to turn the screen back off so you're losing uh, a little bit of a charge uh, right there one of the things with uh, wireless charging is that it doesn't charge at the same rate as if you had a micro USB plugged in uh, I noticed that the WCP uh, 700 from LG probably charged at about half the rate of a normal uh, micro USB charger and uh, it has an input voltage of 19 volts that that really does suggest that it probably was going to charge faster than the Nokia models and the Nokia models I think charge at about maybe two-thirds the rate of uh, the LG uh, if people are interested I can go ahead and do some comparisons just leave some comments in the uh, comments uh, section below but now we'll go ahead and go inside and take a closer uh, look at these products okay again this is the Nokia DT910 the 900 is the flat plate that is mounted inside my vehicle uh, this is the wire that I cut off this going to the charging plate inside the vehicle and this being wired into positive and ground from the lighter plug and this is the LG WCP700 just wanted to show you uh, that both of them do work and this is in an OtterBox uh, commuter case you can see that light uh, change the light come on right there uh, this used to beep when it got to uh, full capacity to let you know that it was fully charged and it would stop charging the only thing is if you weren't around and didn't want to take it off of there uh, it would continue to uh, drain the battery start charging in and beep so we also have another video to show you how to remove the speaker on this so it doesn't do that throughout the night on your nightstand or on your table okay now the Nokia DT910 you can see when it's plugged in uh, just the stand there's no notification that it is uh, receiving power when you place a device on it you get this notification uh, LED on the front you'll see it in your device and also the charging plate has the same thing a light at the end to tell you that it is charging so you can see both of these devices uh, work with uh, the droid DNA actually along with the one in the vehicle as well because they all meet the QI uh, standards so for more information on this and more please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you